Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. I'm so happy to be here with you today. We're going to get to some Christmas DIYs. I took this wood sign from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to use my Waverly Ivy chalk paint and just paint the center with that. Next, I'm just letting that dry. So I took some ribbon and I cut it in about eight inch long strips, just as long as you want the loop. So see how the loop I fell folded over about halfway and then the rest will be tails. This is an easy way to make a bow. Well, it's kind of easy. <laughs> okay, you pinch those together and I do about five. The center you could make a little bit shorter if you don't want a tail for it. Next, you just take a zip strip. And I don't know why, but I always have to try and figure out again, oops, which way does this go? All right, take it back around, and then we're just going to clip that off. Now, if you wanted, if you're going to add greenery, you could also, you know, add that in there, but I tend to just glue that in. Now I'm going to just dovetail this, so I fold it over and grab my lighter as well because this does fray. And this lighter is at the end of its life here. It is barely working. Um, so it takes several clicks here to make it get going, but that helps it stop fraying. So fold it over halfway, cut from the center to the outside corner diagonally, and that gives you that nice little dovetail. And I did that on all of the tails, and then I just fluffed it out until I was happy. Super simple. I thought this would be a nice different sign besides the round one. So this is an ornament shape that I found at the Dollar Tree. Next, I'm taking some Waverly Crimson and I just taped off where I want this to overlap with that ivory color. I would suggest because, again, I'm gonna tell you what I learned along the way. One, you always want to tap along that. It gives you that nice crisp edge. But then I would also suggest if you're going to do this, paint the whole thing ivory. That way you don't have to try and cover up that edge that was a little bit different. And if you have any little unevenness, just sand right over it. Just make it nice and smooth. And if you need to touch up any, no worries. Just do that. Next on my Cricut, I did Mary... Um, I will link that down below. I think it was called Kitchen Home or Home Kitchen, something like that. I found it um, free. And then my other cursive font that I am very fond of right now is at Rostella. Um, I did find that at defont.com. I'll link those down below for you. I thought they go together really pretty. So simply did that on my Cricut. You could also, you know, get some decals. You can order off Etsy. You could hand paint it, whatever you'd like to do. I got that greenery at Dollar Tree as well. It was last year. Hopefully they'll have that again. I really do like it. Found, you know, one of those edges that needed to be trimmed. Now I'm just adding some glue. Gosh, I like my fine tip glue gun. I like this one because it's cordless, but whoo, this one is hot. All right, so I'm just gonna tuck in some greenery on each side. This does have wire in it. So I made one a little bit longer than the other because in nature, you know, nothing's exactly the same. So I wanted them a little bit different. I want a little bit of symmetry, but not too much, right? And so I bent that one just a little bit to come down around the side. And we'll just glue that down. Those berries I got on clearance also, but I did see some at Walmart yesterday for $1.28, a little branch. So pretty competitive with Dollar Tree. Let me know what you think.
It's the first of the month, so I'm collabing with these wonderful ladies. Our host is Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY. Co-host is Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. Please visit their channels, like and subscribe. You will not be disappointed. There's also a playlist below of a bunch of wonderful crafters. All right, let's get to our next one. I did this last year, but I wanted to show you again because I found a trick. I've been making a bunch of these. Decided to do a craft show. Um, see the yarn on the left? I got that from Dollar Tree. I got this other yarn at Michael's. I also found some thick yarn at Walmart. But oh my goodness, it's about triple to quadruple the thickness once you put it on here of the other. So this goes really fast. I want to say with the other one, you do about 50. With this one, I think I did under 20. So I'm not doing the math real quick here. I'm just doing the voiceover. <laughs> my goodness, I want to get this video out to you. Okay, so this is just a simple slip knot. You've got that loop on one side, you put the yarn through it. Just make sure you keep doing it the same way all the way around, scoot them nice and tight. I did about a quarter inch. You could make that brim just as long as you want. Um, I take, when I cut these, I put it around a book and just wrap it around, wrap around, clip it, and then clip it in half again. I wanna say these are a little over nine inches. So it's just going to depend on one, how big you want the pom-pom at the top of your hat, how big you decide to make the brim. Um, I've seen people make them as thick as an inch. So it's going to be just whatever you'd like to do. I think last year I made them like half an inch and I've just decided I like them a little bit thinner. So make them nice and tight, pull them tight. Now you're gonna push it through. This way our knots are going to be hidden and you'll have that nice smooth brim. See those knots right there on the edge? All right, we're gonna tuck these all in there. They're nice and see how it's just hidden right underneath that brim. Now we wanna smooth it out, make sure you don't have any loops stuck. And you could take another piece of yarn. That's how I did it last year. I just took a piece of yarn and tied it around there. But I found these little elastics work even easier. So you can get those at the Dollar Tree. This was a big bag I had gotten off of Timu. You can get them at Walmart, anywhere hair accessories are. But I think they work great for crafts. Okay, now just as big as you want the top of your hat to be, and keeping in mind that the top of that is going to be your pom-pom. So that looks pretty good to me. Oh, I think that I might have missed, I shoved two little cotton balls up in there. I think that got edited out, I apologize. Now I'm taking a yarn needle and just taking some of this cording Oh goodness, I just realized a whole little clip just got snipped out of there. I apologize. So when I put that in there, then I also just trimmed down the top of this pom-pom. All I did was just keep taking it and trimming it down until I was happy with the size of the pom-pom. Oh my goodness, I'm going to link where I trimmed these down last year for you. Um, because honest to goodness, I'm in a time crunch. This video is coming out to you today. So I do apologize at that little piece, but I don't think I have a moment to go back and put it back in. Okay, pulling this cording through, and it's okay, we're crafting. It doesn't have to be perfect. This little piece of yarn came back through. That's all right. Okay, I will just, you know, be able to tuck that back in. So now I'm gonna knot my cording here. Gosh, I am sorry guys about that pom pom, but I know that you're good enough crafters that you're just gonna keep trimming that down. And I just kind of trimmed it at an angle so that the top of the pom pom is just or is a little bit bigger than the bottom. So just kind of trimmed at an angle. All right. Getting that knot in there, you don't have to do this. You could, you know, leave a loop, um, you know, however you'd like to do it. It could be the same color as a yarn. 
but I like doing it this way because then it holds that cotton ball in also. A lot of people will do this for tear trays and don't use glue or anything, but I just tucked that piece of yarn back in there and I think this turned out super cute. Here it is all by itself. Isn't that cute? And I'm gonna show you a couple of its friends. This is with a thicker yarn as well. And see, this pom-pom I made bigger, that one's medium. Depends on how you want it. Next, we're gonna do a wreath. I found this little muffler at Dollar Tree. They've got all different colors this year. Um, this one is from last year. I didn't get a chance to using it. So I'm gonna cut that in half. And now I was trying to decide if I'm going to use the styrofoam or the metal, and I end up with the styrofoam. And I will say, pull this just a little bit tighter than I am, because at the end, when I measured it around, it was perfect, and I didn't pull it quite as tight as I needed to. And just keep gluing that and going around. If you find little areas that, you know, start to separate, go back in, add a little bit of glue, pull that tight and then you're just going to cover that seam bring it around and gluing it but you can see mine's just a little bit tight had I pulled that more snugly it would have been just fine now I got this ribbon at Hobby Lobby I will say I have been using it for a couple of years I would definitely go with that it was $9.99 of course it's a Christmas sale I didn't pay that it's usually 40% off sometimes 50 um, but definitely a great bargain okay pulling that around and because mine had a little bit of an area I doubled another loop now I just took some black cording and I did another little slip knot and now I just pulled it and I made it another knot and then I'll put some glue. I just wanted it super snug and I wanted it um, a certain length. So basically just a slip knot here. And now I made another bow just like I made for the ornament earlier. I'm gonna glue that right on top. And this um, makeup spatula you've seen me use before. Okay, got these ornaments at the Dollar Tree and they snap apart. The weird thing about them, look, the deer looks like, looks back at its tail end. It's so weird. They've had them this way for years. I don't know why the deer isn't looking forward. Anyways, I popped them apart. That way it's not too bulky off your wreath. You just have to be delicate when you do this. Make sure that their antlers aren't entangled. And now they can be facing each other. Well, see? See how they're looking backwards? So silly. Okay, I wanted a nice way to keep them together. So I added a little bit of glue here. I'm using my lower temp glue gun because that other one, it did burn me earlier. I'm not going to fib. It did. It's super hot. Okay, taking a piece of my scraps, waste not, want not. And I'm just going to use that to adhere the two of them together. Super easy, right? You're going to have to let me know down below which one of these are your favorite. Or if you'll do, be doing one yourself. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we'll just glue it on. I found the best way to tack it was going to be at their body and their legs. So I'm just trying to line it up right and see where I can tack this down. And I do apologize. My battery had died and so my camera angles off just a little bit from where it was. And I didn't notice that I was super close at this point. Okay, I got these bells at the Dollar Tree as well. Here's where I want your input. I decided to put one on each side of the bow, but I usually work with the rule of thirds. I don't know, it made me want to put one even possibly in the center of the bow, but I just strung these up with that cording again and decided to tie them on because hot glue and metal does not work very well. So I decided to tie them on and it'll be hidden by the bow and the ribbon. 
let me know, would you put one on there? Would you add them all the way around? I, I kept playing with them, but I ended up with one on each side. I think maybe if I had had maybe one of those white snowflakes from Dollar Tree because the bow or the bottom of the bell is a snowflake. Maybe if I had a snowflake in the center of the bow. I don't know. It just feels just a little bit off balance to me. Let me know what you think you would do. All right, here it is. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, let me know down below which is your favorite. Don't forget to go to the playlist to view all these wonderful crafters. Subscribe to Brenda and Amanda. You will not be disappointed because these women are fabulous. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.